What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today. We're about to do some bow hunting for a doe. Now, season's ticking down, and we gotta get us one. I mean, my limit in my area is one buck and one doe. The doe has to be taken with a bow, and bow season ends the end of January. So, uh, yeah, I don't have that much time to go kill a deer. I've had a trail camera down in the position we're going, and over the last two weeks, we've had consistent does and a pretty big buck. I can't kill him, but he's still a pretty big buck. Coming around, right around the evening time, just snooping around. One way or another, boys, we're heading on in there, and, uh, yeah, we're about to try to to get something done. So what we out here with, what's the gear we popping? Right up here on the little neck shield thing, I got my camo one. It's not very cold today. I'm dressed pretty right, but just in case I look over and I see and I see some deer coming towards me, I can have enough time to do this right here. Just uh just that right there. That'll cover up my lower jaw and my nose and below. It really just covers up my face, which can be extremely important. Another thing we're rocking in there is the KG hunting backpack. We're using this to, you know, take all the things we need down in there into the woods. And last but not least, we have some Bucky socks just for good luck. You can never have a bad hunt with Bucky socks. You may not always kill some, but you will always have fun. That's not a promise, by the way. You can't take me to court if I'm not right. If you'd like to pick up any of those things, you know where to go. KendallGrave1.com slash shop or first link in the description. But Anyways, guys, I'm moving into position, and, uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna start being a little bit quieter here. But anyways, guys, I'm moving into position now, moving on down to the tree stand. I'm gonna start being a whole lot quieter, because, guys, we gotta make this happen. We can't be coming out here just messing around. We gotta get out here and kill a deer. <sighs> wow. <sighs> All right, let's go. I'll see y'all at the tree stand. Okay, guys, we're up in the tree now. I got a pretty good point of view right here. I can see about everything in the world. Kind of. Here is my view. Right over there, I got a fox trap. As we look on down the hill, we see, you know, just down, down there's a random pond. There's a road. There's a really nice looking tree. I don't know what the species, but I might later. There's another really good tree. Don't know its species, but we might find out later. Over there's another really good tree. It's actually a beech tree. I love them. Squirrels do too. That's probably why we get along so good. But down there's the good stuff. Down there's actually some corn. I put that corn out earlier today. I put a little bit more than that. So something's definitely been out here eating it. I don't know if it's been deer already been out here, or maybe some birds, or maybe squirrels. Possibly turkeys, but I don't see where turkeys have scratched around, so I don't think that's it. I'll be honest, guys, I think the deer have already been here. Which, there's no doubt in my mind, even if the deer have came, I think they'll be back. They're not just gonna forget about free food, okay? But anyways, guys, it's about 3.30 right now. It gets dark at 5.30, so I have about two hours to hunt. Nothing too bad. I got this little arm set up for this camera that way if we can get a good deer, we'll get a good video of the shot on my buck that I killed. I didn't even get it on camera, man. I don't even know what well kind of did. No, I didn't. He was behind a tree, but this time, it's gonna be different. I'm gonna have this camera watching the overall area, and then my bow. My bow's actually still down there. I should probably go ahead and get it up. But I've got a camera rigged up on the bow. That way we'll see the shot. That's the plan anyways. But I tell you what, Grey Gang, I'm gonna be quiet and I'm just gonna wait on a deer and then if a deer comes I'm gonna shoot it okay guys we have our first deer spotted she's a doe pretty good ways away she's on a different elevation she's actually above me and that's really weird you can barely see her outline but I'm gonna try to zoom in and show you right there yep see it right there she's really hard to see she's not very close to us but she may come over this way before the day is over. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Get my bow out just in case she decides to come on down the hill. I don't think she knows I'm here yet. That deer is literally in my front yard right now. Why is it in my front yard? I should have just stayed home. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. Maybe she'll come back down to get some corn. Or maybe Sheba will run the deer over here. Okay, guys, here's what's happening. So I've been sitting out here for about an hour and a half. It's about to get dark. My dad just texts me, shoot the doe with bow out in front yard. Three-yard shot. I tell you what, boys, we're packing it up. We're getting out of here. I knew that deer went in my front yard, and I just got confirmation. I ain't wasting no time. I'm going up. This just turned into a kind of spot and stock. I don't know what Sheba's doing. Sheba's not much of a guard dog. I'm sorry. She really doesn't do much at all. But anyways, guys, here we go. It's go time. Dad says she was right in the front yard. Right there, Statue Miles. All I gotta do is go around the corner, get down, and take the shot. Okay, she's moved a little bit. She's not right here, but she could be anywhere. She's definitely moved out of the front yard, but I can tell you, she's not very far. I... What is going on down there? I'm trying to kill a deer. But I asked my dad, did she act spooked or anything? 
He said no, she was pretty chill, so I'll tell you what, guys, she could be anywhere. She's probably just over one of these banks. I just gotta look for her, be quiet, and try to get in position to take the shot. Side's a pretty good possibility. If I don't find this deer this evening, I'm gonna catch back up with y'all in the morning. We're gonna go back out again, okay? I didn't find that deer, but I actually found another one. We're out here in the middle of the field. This is gonna be insane if I can stalk her, but I tell you what, I'm sure gonna try. It is a doe confirmed. Exactly what we're looking for. I'm a little shaky, but y'all can see the doe. Doe's moving out. That doe is moving out. If I'm gonna catch her, gotta be, I gotta move pretty fast. I don't know how fast I can move while still trying to be quiet. Okay, boys, it's voiceover time. 60 yards away, wind in my face. Deer hasn't even looked in my direction the whole time. Nothing could really be better at this point. Update, the deer kinda sees me, but he doesn't exactly know if I'm a bush. So at this point, I think, I think I'm just a bush. Yeah, I'm just a bush. Okay, please stop walking towards the bush. You can stop walking towards the bush. It's just a bush. I'm, I know I'm shaking, but it's the wind. I'm a bush. I'm a bush. I'm a bush. I'm a bush. Oh gosh, she knows I'm not a bush. And there she goes. Yep, okay, it's over. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, we tried. We actually got extremely close. Like, that was almost the best case scenario. She was looking away from me. Wind was blowing in my face. The ground is wet, so I'm not making noise whenever I walk. And there were some coyotes howling across the hill, which caught her, which, you know, caught her attention. Only thing that could have been better is if she had walked around that building. That way I'd had something between me and her. That way I could have got even closer. But you know what? Sometimes things just like that doesn't happen. We're lucky we even got that close. That wasn't even the deer that was in my yard. This was just some random one out here standing in the field. But I tell you what, guys, the video's not over. We're still gonna go in the morning. And I still think we'll have pretty good luck in the morning, too. So now, if I don't get on any more deer, which I might, because they seem to enjoy my front yard, I'll see you guys in the morning what is good gray gang as you can see it's the morning and it's kind of weird because it's like eight o'clock and the sun's really not even came up yet and i know some y'all like kendall dude just get in the stand before it even gets daylight listen guys it was a tough morning i'm kind of ashamed to say this but i hit the snooze button twice but one thing about this morning is let me tell you guys it is stinking cold like yesterday it wasn't cold at all today it's freezing i've got like four pairs of pants on <sighs> it's really cold we're making our way down to the tree stand. The tree stand's like right down there somewhere. It's not too far. But so far as we're walking in here, I found two animals so far. Just two squirrels, but they're still two animals. I made sure that there wasn't any deer in here while I was moving in. To be honest, guys, I may have just found a cave. A stinking Widowmaker just fell out of the sky. If you don't know what a Widowmaker is, it's a giant limb from a dead tree. Yeah, they kill people. What? What in what the world? Bro, that was right beside my tree stand. That's crazy. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the stand and be really quiet. Everything looks pretty good, but we really don't have much corn left. We really don't have much at all, probably about a pound. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to make some come in here or not. If they do come, they're probably gonna come from this direction. The one from yesterday came in up there. I tell you what, guys, I'll get back with you guys when something interesting happens. Like if a squirrel falls out of a tree or something, we got movement, we got movement. It's on the other hillside over there. There seems to be a pretty good pack of them. I'm not sure if they're all does or not. All I saw was some white tail. They were moving pretty quick. Seemed to be running at a mid jog. Oh, there they go, there they go. I don't know, can y'all see them? Can y'all see them? That is a good sign though. That means that they are moving. Those are the first deer we've seen all day. Hopefully not the last. Okay guys, we're heading out of the stand right now. It's really cold. I don't know. Maybe the deer aren't moving. I think the only reason that those deer that we did see were moving was because a dog was chasing them. That could be a pretty good possibility. I'm definitely going to head up here and check my front yard. And then I'm going to go check that field where I... If I can stand up, my goodness. Okay. Yeah, this is dumb. That's dumb. I ain't doing it. I can't even move. I can't even walk. I'm definitely going to come up here and check my front yard. And then I'm definitely going to go back and check that field where I tried to stalk that one yesterday. I can't even walk. What is wrong with this? I'm not doing something right. I think I just broke my bow. I can't walk anywhere. It's slick everywhere. It's just mud. Goodness. I'm gonna die. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. This is a mess. 
As I come up here in the field, they're not here either. They're not in the woods, they're not in the fields. Unless they're just bedded down, I don't really know. And I really don't think they're bedded down because it's kind of early. It's not extremely early, but I don't know. I just figured with this kind of weather, the deer would be moving pretty good, but they ain't. I literally can't feel my hands right now. Make sure to subscribe and like. Hashtag Greg Gang, hashtag Jesus Bye.